So just tell us uh, about camp and, and how uh, you guys are getting back in the swing of things with the Heat. Um, it was pretty much anticipated uh, going into this type of uh, camp as far as the atmosphere around it. Um, I think a lot of guys um, were prepared for it. Um, I think you'll see a lot. You'll be, you'll be really impressed with the younger guys on this evening because we just took a different approach to training and uh, just getting our mental stage correct. So um, it wasn't as bad as it looked, but I feel like we did pretty good. Anybody wilt at the end or you guys come through it okay? Sir? Did anybody wilt toward the end or do you guys finish practice? Today? Oh, we finished strong. That's our motto. So I'm sure everyone finished strong. You said you talked about taking a different approach. Uh, <coughs> did you expound upon that? Tell us a little bit more about that. Just pretty much that um, that this is our team. This is this is what we're trying to do, not about what happened last year and the importance of what we're trying to accomplish and what we're trying to establish as one unit. Seems like the team has kind of a different feel. Last year, a lot of talk about the defensive guys coming back. This year, there's a slew of stars on the offensive side of the ball. Can, is there maybe a different feel to the team going into the season this year? Um, I don't think so at all because um, – the difference, you know, I think we just have a lot, of, a lot of talent. Just, uh, it's all about seeing what the guys can do. I'm not, um, I'm not at all worried about what um, we're gonna do because uh, I know we're capable of. I've seen these guys throughout the summer, throughout the spring. So, I mean, I don't, I don't see any difference at all. Can you kind of talk about that firepower you have coming back? You have a quarterback who's never lost a game, uh, the returning Heisman winner in the backfield, <coughs> star wide receiver. Well, I, mean, I don't think none, none of that stuff matters. But I just feel like, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think it does anything but help help the writers and personally I just feel like those guys come to work every day and I saw that and I know that they're, they're not worried about the hype that's behind their name they're worried about doing what's best for the team. Yeah, there's a lot of hype surrounding the fact there's nine starters off the defense you guys probably heard all that what, what is what are you guys excited about with this defense and what will we be surprised about? We're just excited about just proving ourselves each day is an opportunity to work and just get better than we than we did the previous day. I don't think we're just just overall just concerned about the hype. I mean, honestly, I hadn't heard much about it because I just know what type of guys I have around me, and um, that's all. That's all I'm looking forward to, just going out and have, have put on a good show this season. Have you guys started to, to gel a little bit through the summer workouts, or is it something that, that takes a few weeks uh, here in camp? Um, I believe so. Um, I actually believe we gelled a good bit through the spring because. We we turned up the intensity as far as um, after the after the national championship game, we we wanted to just stay that way and keep the chemistry. I think the chemistry is a lot stronger than it's been since I've been here, and I'm I'm really excited about that alone. Have you seen kind of you know this is Coach Saban's fourth year? What's the personality of this team like? Is it adapting his personality more and more as each year goes on? Definitely. Um, it's it's a huge 360 degree turnaround from when I got here. It's, it's like we're it's like we're many savings, uh, to say the least, because we all we all respect his approach, and we all take out there, and I, I see that in everyone, even the guys that's been here in the summer, they're, they're understanding a lot better. They're they're a real fun, fundamentally sound unit, and I'm just looking forward to getting some of those guys on the field as well. Thank you. <laughs> Might have, might not. Um, Marcel is a great person. I think a lot of people shy away from that just based off of whatever happened. I'm not even. I don't even know what all happened, but that's my teammate. That's my brother, and I'm gonna do the best I can to support him, no matter what happens. And that's all I can pretty much say about that. How good was it to see you on the field and just kind of get all the extra stuff you know, out of the way and get back to playing football with him and his intensity level and all that stuff. I mean, that was great. I mean, I feel like he's the type of person, even if he's not there, his presence is going to be felt because just of the type of person he is, the type of player he is. I mean, I've seen him grow a lot from the time he's gotten here. And, I mean, it, it makes me proud because I know he, he's, he's a much better person than what you all see on the field as a player. Yep. These first day camps ever get old? Oh, they never get old. <laughs> <laughs> they never get old. Each, each year the anticipation gets better, especially for me, uh, this being my last camp. So, but um, it never gets old. I'm, I'm always looking forward to it, and it's always something new every year, no matter what you <laughs> did the previous years.